In the 2012 flood events, we provided a role in the SEC of providing specialist flood intelligence support to Vic SES. This enabled Vic SES to coordinate its uh, community messaging and its response activities, but also helped other agencies understand what the potential impacts on communities were of the floods and also on potential services as well. So in Victoria, the flood warning arrangements, uh, the Bureau of Meteorology provide us with uh, predictions of flood levels at certain locations along rivers. And what we do with those, those predictions is that we then, uh, as I said before, look at uh, local knowledge, flood maps, and determine what the impacts are on the communities. So it is very much a partnership arrangement between ourselves and other state agencies in the Bureau of Meteorology to make sure we best inform the community of potential flood impacts. The principal advice uh, we provide is how high the flood water is going to get, how wide the flood water is going to get, what are the impacts of those flood waters, and when will the flood waters start to rise, when will they peak, and when will they fall. So really that, that piece of information is then uh, taken on board by the SES. They are able to uh, then better inform uh, the incident control centres and also their volunteers to make sure that the, the flood response efforts are targeted and also uh, uh, achieve their best impact in terms of reducing flood damages. Uh, the importance of our knowledge really relates to uh, adding additional information to flood warnings. So we're able then to provide better targeted information about what is likely to get wet, when will it get wet, how long will it remain wet for, what are the potential impacts. So again, we're able to work with SES, local authorities, to make sure that the impacts of flooding on communities are minimised as best we can. Uh, the Victorian Government is currently undertaking a four-year program called Flood Zoom. And really the aims of Flood Zoom there are to improve our, our flood mapping, our knowledge of impacts of flood impacts around the state. Also we're looking now to uh, improve our ability to predict and warn against floods around the state as well. And really to wrap that all up uh, in what we're calling a flood intelligence platform, which will better enable us to share information not only uh, between agencies but with the community as well about potential flood impacts and really again with the view of reducing flood impacts on the community. Certainly as a strong opportunity, as I said before, one of the key uh, information sources we have for flooding around the state is local knowledge. That local knowledge can be uh, accessed or uh, well, provided through our catchment management authorities and our catchment management authorities are undertaking a number of, of flood mapping studies around the state at the moment. I really encourage everyone to get in contact if they've got key information that can help us improve that local knowledge. Get in contact with your CMA and see what studies are being undertaken in your area. Thank you.